What is going on, you guys? It is Arkham Shift Tree, and I am here bringing you back for episode 9 of our Pokemon Leaf Green Randomized Nuzlocke. Now, while I adjust myself, um, I recorded this, and me being the complete smart person that I am, had my mic on mute. So, went to edit it and whatnot. It was the sounds playing and everything, except for I was talking, and this is what you saw. And. Um, Obviously, that doesn't work too well. So, I have to re record this. So, I honestly know what happens in this episode. Unfortunately, um, so I'll, I'll still try to act surprised. But, um, the encounter still can change. Um, last time I caught some, I caught one pretty good Pokemon. So, it's a little upsetting that I won't catch it now. I might if I run through it again if I'm lucky. But, I want to start things off by saying this video is going to be a tiny bit longer due to the grinding montage and I haven't been recording much and a video every single day will be coming out and um, I'm looking forward to that because I really do want to make this hobby something worthwhile. I want to connect with um, other people that also love doing uh, and watching what I do and I don't know, I'll, expl I'll explain it later. But first things first, we're going to go battle um, Lieutenant Surge. And, um, there is no problems with his gym, unfortunately, which made me a little bit upset because, um, actually, it doesn't make me upset because Vermilion City has actually been really threatening to the point where SSN and, um, other things, like, I forget what trainer it was, I think it was this guy right here, had a Regirock that destroyed me, and then he had a Walrein. So, it's nice to have, you know, a break and um hopefully we can go through this again but that being said we're gonna continue and definitely take on this we will make it to the to the cave i want to try not to speed up like important battles I, I i noticed that i speed up a lot so i'm gonna try not to do that but anyway back to what i was saying there will be a video a day every day at least at least one video a day and if i don't follow through with that then um, i'm a dirty little liar so that being said um I'm working on getting a 3DS capture card, and uh, between the time of recording the first episode and fail and you hit the stun spore, okay. Between the time of recording this and then re-recording this now, I've been looking and I cannot find a 3DS capture card anywhere, anywhere at all that um is in a seventh month, seven month wait. Which, in my eyes, is absurd. That is 
way too long of a wait. Why would someone pay that much money and then wait seven months? But I'm I'm looking. Oh my, Molly is just paralyzed over and over again. But I am looking around eBay and forums for the 3DS capture card and what have you. I'm also lo looking around for a um, Xbox One and PS4 uh, capture card because I, I do have that. I got a lot of games for Christmas, and I got got a couple games that I want to do. But Pokemon will definitely be main on this um, channel. And I also would like to um, maybe get a second channel going later on down the road. Just have this as my Pokemon channel. But we'll see. Um, we're going to go out with CJ. Because CJ has double kick against this Tyranitar. And um, times four. Like, who wouldn't go out into CJ? But um, that being said, uh, I'm kind of looking forward to this. If I can find um, a 3DS capture card somewhere, I will be so happy. Because I don't really don't want to wait seven months. Like, uh, I, I'm going through the forums, reading all this stuff, and Loopy, when he was around... Oh, my Lanza! Okay, when Loopy was around, people got their capture card, like, two to three weeks. Now, Katsu Kitty, who apparently, according to others, breaks a lot, um, takes seven months. So, not only does it take seven months, but according to others, it breaks frequently, or has, um, known issues, known issues <laughs> with it. So, I'm kind of in a conflict right now of trying to find someone who has a Loopy uh, capture card and will sell it, and also just, it, there's a lot of uh, what ifs going around for me, unfortunately, and, um, but I, I do really want to get a capture card, and I really do want to do this, I, I'm striving to do this, the new year's coming up, and my, my resolution, I can tell you guys right now, is to do a video a day every single day. Um, and further my hobby of making YouTube videos. Because I, I do have fun with this, even though I don't have a, a big following. The following that I do have means the world to me. I do have friends and family that watch this, and it means more, more than enough. Because um, the people that see me do this and know that I love doing what I do, whether it's, you know, playing Pokemon or... Uh, going to work at my factory that I go to, like, doing stuff that I love, I mean, going to the factory, I don't love doing that, but that's just my job, but doing stuff that I love and people that see me do that is really cool because it's an insight of who I am, and I know I'm getting sentimental and I'm not hyper and funny like I have him before, but I just want to let you guys know that I don't want to go anywhere, I do want to pursue this and, um, try to further myself. And we just completely demolished um, Chef Webster. And um, and the theme that he gives us is Grasmus, which is unfortunate. I mean, it's a cool move in theory, but the 55 accuracy is not good at all. I'd rather go with Sleep Powder. So, um, but yeah, as I was saying, um, I, well, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> um, I really do want to do this, and um, any support is really appreciated. And I'm looking forward to getting more uh, of a following of people that love Pokemon just as much as I do. Or more. Doesn't, doesn't matter. But, um, yeah, that being said, we're done with the sentimental stuff. And we're going to continue on with this game. I can't talk to him because he says I have to go back to Route 2. So, I have to go all the way back up and <laughs> fight this Duskull. Um, actually, I'm going to run from it. So, we're going to keep on going up. And we're going to get two, three encounters this episode three encounters and hopefully hopefully I can get all three last time I only got two because one of them was a Rolicanth and Rolicanth's catch rate is absurd so hopefully I don't run into that again and we will be on our way um also I don't know if I'm gonna be doing the, I don't know if I said this already I feel like I have but I'm not, I don't know if I'm gonna be doing this every day I want to do um random battles on on uh Pokemon showdown um, I already hit my Pokemon, I don't know why I'm going this way. Um, but I want to do battles on Showdown, and I don't know what else I want to do, but maybe I want to do one more thing Pokemon related, and um, maybe do a rotation of threes. Uh, we'll see how that goes. But um, that being said, I'm looking forward to doing this, and um, I'm working on getting new lighting, and I know my mic's not the best, but it is good for what, what I have right now. And... Um, 
that being said, later on down the road, I'll, I'll, I'll Twitch and do all this other stuff. <laughs> and so I'm looking forward to that, and I'm really happy. So Larvitar comes on the field, and it's going to be really easy, so I'm just going to go out into your mom. Your mom needs some XP, uh, because she has, she has a lot of, um, she has a lot of HP, but I, I, I really love a Whale Lord, not going to lie. I mean, the thing is really intimidating. Its stats aren't good in theory at all, but it is really intimidating. Sorry, there's a bug flying around. I swatted. I don't know if you saw that. But if you did, sorry, I, I killed a bug. Sorry. <laughs> um, going on, we're gonna we're gonna go out to those blossoms. So we're gonna go back out to Molly, and we're easily gonna take this thing out in one hit. If we don't, I will be complete another shock, and I will scream five times. There we go. So, um, one thing I noticed: we don't have a grass type Pokemon on our team, so we lost both of our grass types last episode. Yeah, last episode to oh, Ice Ball and Reggie uh, Rock going for um, Explosion. So that being said, we lost both of our grass types, which is unfortunate. So I wouldn't mind catching a grass type right about now. And I do know that I have enough Pokeballs for my, my encounters. I have like 31 Pokeballs and two Ultra Balls, which is really, really cool. Um, okay, I was gonna say, geez. Okay, um, we're definitely taking this thing out without a problem. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to finishing this LP, I will do, I want to do at least every generation of a Nuzlocke for generation 6, unless I can find, yeah, find, um, an emulator for it, which I don't think I can, but I'll see, I think he's signing out, nah, I think I went out the wrong Pokemon, didn't I, 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 no, I didn't, okay, <laughs> um, but this is a little upsetting. I, I hate having to re-record this knowing what's coming up because it makes it less of an experience. But I, I, I have to do it because I can't just be like, oh, well, I screwed up and I'm just going to drop the series because I, I made a little screw up. But <laughs> that being said, it's only 20 minutes and I'm going to try to avoid this guy again. This, this is going to be entertaining because I tried to avoid this guy last time and it failed miserably. So let's see here. Come on, come on, come on. Oh! That's so close. <laughs> Alright. So we're gonna battle this guy for some reason every single time he catches me. And I don't even know why. I don't even know why. So he's gonna go out to Cedra. Which is unfortunate. Because the only grass type move that we have is Magical Leaf. And that's not good at all because unless I crit like that. But not having a grass type is very hindering. Um, due to we have a times four weak to grass and a regular weakness to grass. So we're just gonna stay in and go for another magical leaf. And Mrs. Mime, who is honestly, I think, one of my favorites on my team at the moment because of how well she does. I'm gonna sneak past you. Oh my gosh, but I can't sneak past you. So we're gonna have to fight this one person right here. And we might have to fight that person down there again, depending on. Actually, no, if we just go drop down, we won't have to fight that person. Now that I'm trying to oh um, not that I'm trying to avoid battles, I just don't. The, we already over leveled at surge to begin with. I honestly didn't think about that, but we are way over leveled. I don't want to be even more over leveled that we than we already are. So that being said, I'm I'm kind of trying to avoid battles, so I don't want to just go through this let's play just bodying everything like CJ is doing right now. Because that wouldn't be fun, and it wouldn't be a challenge. The Nuzlocke is supposed to be a challenge, and if I have to do that, that is not a challenge. My first encounter is covering my eyes. That's a Scyther, right? But- <gasps> Huh! Alright, uh, I'm gonna go for it. Um, last time it was a Scyther. So I'm gonna switch out into CJ. CJ. Yeah, we're gonna CJ. Um, I mean, it is another water type, unfortunately. And um, but I mean, it's a blast toy, so I can't really complain that much. One, two. Okay, I can. Okay, I think I can catch him now. We're gonna try right now. I have two Ultra Balls. So please, please bless the stay, stay the Ultra Ball, I will love you forever. Please, ready? One, two, three. First Ultra Ball, caught a flipping starter. 
I almost slipped there and that would have been bad because I, I refuse to do this. This is a PG series. So, let's see here. The pressurized water jets this brutal... Uh, I forgot how to English. <laughs> this pressurized water jets on this brutal Pokemon shell are used for high-speed tackles. Huh. Alright. Um, I named my friend after the Scyther, but I guess he's getting named after Blastoise now. So, Chris, this goes up to you. You've been a good friend of mine for over a year now. I met you through the Pokemon community, so in honor of you, I'm naming this Pokemon after you. So, that being said, we're going to run down here. We're going to get this. I think it's Max Potion. Yeah, we're going to go over here. Camera up. Oh, my power. What a slow game. <laughs> I would have loved that. So, we're going to go up here. We're going to continue and go get our other encounter on this route. Which, after I have to fight this person. Ugh! Alright. So, we have to fight this person. I think we have to fight one more person after this one or two, depending on how well I run and hide. So, let's see. I can go flame wheel. See, always. Last time I, I switched out, fearing a fairy move, and I was like, oh, wait. This is Gen 3, not Gen 6. So, double slap's gonna come through, and this thing is not gonna do anything. So then the diddly butt kiss, as you can see, it did a total of, I can't math right now, because I'm tired, but it did nothing. It did a lot more than I thought it would, even with the burn. I don't even know, I don't even know if burn nerfs attack in this gen. If it does, let me know down in the comments below. But, that being said, shh, that Clefairy, Clefable is done, she is done. So we're going to go out into your mom, your mom can handle us while we just find it, because this is our rock type user rock type user with rollout so that being said um there is really i have a lot of coverage for pokemon that kind of you know body our team i mean flying doesn't body our team what's the accuracy on sing because whenever i use sing in any game ever i always miss but whenever someone uses it it always hits me always so we're gonna growl and lower my rollout attack. Oh my god, we're gonna play this game. We're gonna. Okay, there we go. You're gonna, okay, I thought he, was sh he or she was gonna use Sing. But, um, I guess not. So, that being said, I forgot all about that. I really did it. So, we're gonna go out into Alphon. Alphon's easily gonna take this thing down. Literally, take down. And, um, see, like, I have Pokemon that can handle an electric type with two ground immunities, which is, I don't think I fight, I do fight you, that was a mistake. Like, I have two ground types, which is perfect, because, I mean, having two water types, I mean, one being, one of the water types being ground is kind of cool, because I, actually, that's not cool, because now that I think about it, I have a lot of weakness to grass, but then I, again, I have molly, so it's okay that I have all those weaknesses to grass. Oh my, I don't remember fighting you, oh my goodness. Okay, we're gonna go out to you because you have magical leaf. This is new to me. Alright, so <laughs> I don't remember fighting this person. I think I skipped them last time. An artillery. Oh boy. And a Ludicolo. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. What can I get? I, this is my best option is to just go for magical leaf. Oh my god, that scared me. I went silent for a second, but I was in like utter terror. Encore. No. I mean, Encores, I like to use Encore in competitive battles, honestly, because if someone's trying to set up or just spam, like, try Stealth Rocks. Okay, we get an account here, but if they want to try to use Stealth Rocks, I would love to use Encore because then they can't do anything after that. I could either, you know, defog or spin them away. So, our encounter on this route, this is a new route. Our encounter is, what is it? Huh? Wait, 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 wait. I know that cry. I know that cry. Don't tell me, don't tell me, don't tell me. Don't tell me, don't tell me. <laughs> a Seedra, okay. I swear, we just get water type after water type after water type. That was foolish of me. What am I doing? Okay, so we're just gonna go out into. What can I do? <gasps> oh boy, oh boy, that was not that was not a good idea. So all these water types, I mean, it it, it could be good. I guess. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. <sighs> Fudge. 
fudge sickles. I don't know what I want to do here. Close it. I don't even know if, it, if it's country is high. I don't know if I want to catch it, but if it's. Oh my god, that was such a tease! Alright, so we're just gonna continue to throw balls at this, and. Uh, Alright, so we're just gonna. Okay, okay. So. <laughs> I didn't expect that to happen. I thought it was gonna keep on breaking out. So we caught Cedra, which is cool. Um. Why well, did I name it? Because I don't know if I can. If I think I had it set to where they evolve at a certain level. But I'm gonna name you. I'm gonna name you Edard because I've been watching Game of Thrones lately. I just started it, not just started, but um, I'm in season three with my lady friend, and um, Ned Stark is my favorite. So he's gonna be Cedra's gonna be Edard Stark because he is the. Uh, I wish he was king, but Kingdra, if I get it, would be awesome. So we're gonna go down here. We're gonna heal up, and we're gonna go in the dark cave for our final encounter. Um, I think we might have to wrap it up. This episode I thought was gonna be a little longer, but me already running through this, um, I kind of knew it was what to expect. So I was kind of on my feet, knowing exactly what was gonna happen. So unfortunately, um, that happened. But tomorrow there will be another episode <laughs> up um, of of the series. I don't know what I want to do yet with the rest of the series, but I can tell you right now that. Uh, episode 10 will be up tomorrow uh, for those of you watching. I, I'm pretty sure there's only like two or three of you, one of them being my girlfriend. That being said, I'm going to run around real fast and get my cave encounter. What is, what is it? 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 Is that a Venomal? Venom. I was close enough. Oh my god, my hair right now looks terrible. A Venom. Um. I don't know what I can do with this thing without killing it, because the bugs aren't very strong. And then you go into... I think a tackle, even, it's, even though it's banded, will it kill? That was a stupid question. I'm 10 levels higher with a banded move. What else could I have caught in here? Let's be, before, I, before I end this episode, what else could I have caught in here? For those of you who don't know, Tyranitar is one of my favorite Pokemon. Tyranitar and Sneasel are my top two. They used to, well, they still are my favorites. They, they're my favorites as a kid too. Um, so this is a little upsetting that, that I could have caught a Tyranitar one more time. Let's see what else I could have been in that. Okay, we're gonna see one more time what else I could have gotten a Grovile. And I just said I needed a grass type. No words. Well, we're gonna wrap this episode up, guys. Thanks for checking it out, um, whether you checked it out now or way down the line or whenever. But until next time, guys, I'll catch you guys later.